Hey guys, welcome back to the Wild Dog Project 365, episode 1719. Guys, if you're following along on YouTube, please jump on over to thewilddog.com. Check out all the full-length videos that we offer there. Uh, what we're talking about today is people, you know, it's, it's coming on to marathon season out here in Boston. The Boston Marathon is coming up, and I've been getting some people that are having some uh, symptoms in this area uh, down, on, so we consider the lateral portion, distal uh, calf or shin, right? So, you know, it's very common to have symptoms on the other side, but also on this side as volume starts to build up. A lot of times you can get some strain and repetitive stress in this area and you could start accumulating some wear and tear patterns. So I'm going to move myself forward. You won't be able to see my head, but you'll be able to see my shin. I marked off a couple spots here. Uh, basically, here's the thing. If we're getting pain in this area right here, a lot of times it's due to the repetitive strain that happens between these two dots that you see right here. Now, if I go ahead and lift up my toe, see as I'm doing that, I'm lifting up my toe, you can start to see the shadow of the muscle that's right there. So of course it does sometimes, uh, it is sometimes a great idea to work at the, the site of pain, but in this case, I've been getting a lot better results if we're working on the tissue, not necessarily the tendon area, right? It, this, this works the same way if we're talking about something like aleotibial band syndrome, uh, runner's knee, stuff like that. The tendons themselves may be the site of pain, but the muscles are typically the dysfunctional area. So what we're going to do today to treat this is we're going to use a hyper uh, volt or hyper ice. Okay, we're just gonna turn this on uh, um, like a small setting or a slow setting. This is, the, this is the initial setting that it has on it. Okay, and we're gonna start up here at that first X that I put on there. And I'm just gonna go down to that opposite X, that distal X that you see right there. I'm gonna continue to go back and forth, okay? Now I can just start this with an isometric type of hold, meaning I'm holding my, um, my calf, my ankle position in the same position not calf, my shin position, the same position. And I'm just going back and forth, back and forth over top of that tissue. Uh, and most of the time, if I have pain in this region right here, I'm gonna find some sort of knotty fibrous tissue, ten, uh, tender type of tissue right in this honey hole, the distal one third of uh, that area between the two dots that I just showed you. So if you're a person that's having pain in this distal lateral ankle with running or running type of uh, activities, jumping, running, uh, jogging, walking fast. This is an area where you're gonna want to try to spend some time. Okay, so, so what happens if you don't have a hyper ice uh, available to you? Okay, well in that case, what we can do is we can get in here just with our thumbs and we can literally, a little bit of emollient, literally just run our fingers down that same exact area. Now what happens if we find that area, like I said, that distal one third, where we have this tenderness, naughtiest, naughty type of area? I'm gonna put my two thumbs right over top, I'm gonna add compression, and I'm gonna go side to side until the intensity of that tenderness cuts in half, okay? So guys, that's a quick fix for you if you're, if you're having that distal shin type of pain on the lateral side, especially with running type activities. I hope this helps you out. Questions and comments, please post it below. Otherwise here, we're here each and every day, optimizing function to optimize performance.